hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me Ivana Brooke and I am back with a review a skincare review for Kate Somerville skincare specifically their exfoliate line I'm already ready to reach back there and like touch it um, I'm so excited to review these items because I've actually been trying these for a while I think I got these back in like July I believe and now it is October so I have been using these for a while they are well loved I believe this one is almost empty yes almost have an empty and yeah so I, you know spent a lot of time with them and I've done some research I've also gotten a lot of other people's reviews and now I'm, I'm presenting it to you let's talk let's spill the tea let's discuss So Exfolicate is one of their most popular lines. Exfolicate has a cleanser, it has a moisturizer, it has a liquid treatment. There is a lot going on with Exfolicate, but I believe the flagship product in my mind when I think of Exfolicate is the mask. I have used the mask, I have used the mask up, it is gone and the minimalist in me could not keep the clutter around. I'm so sorry if you just, the satisfaction of me holding the bottle does something for you. We can pretend, but sorry, used it, it's gone. <laughs> so what surprised me most when first using this, um, it is a green, the closest thing I can call it is really, it's a paste. Like it has a very like paste texture to it. It smells like cinnamon, which threw me off completely. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because, you know, when you read the description, they, they discuss more of the papaya in it and things like that. I was a little shocked. I used it. It's a two minute treatment. You're supposed to use it in the shower because the steam will activate the enzymes in it and just give you a better experience and quicker results. And I found that I did like it, especially using it in the shower. It was nice. Two minutes. It's nice. It's easy. Um, easy to incorporate. About two times a week is what they recommend. After you do see immediate results, my skin never was irritated after using it. I never really had that problem. Um, would I repurchase it? I'm kind of just cutting to the chase on that one. No, I wouldn't just because it does have soybean oil in it and quite a bit of it. Um, it just it just kind of worries me how much it would clog my pores. There are just a few ingredients in there. There's also alcohol in there um, that it just makes me feel like I shouldn't. If it, if it wasn't spectacular, I don't need to put, put it on my face. Too much soybean oil, just, it isn't good for me. It doesn't do anything for me. Um, if anything, I just kind of worry about maybe the buildup of future breakouts. So it's, it's just a no for me, um, which is kind of surprising because I do have very tough skin. So um, I don't really have many sensitivities and I didn't... I just didn't, ex I expected to like it more, but it definitely is more of a physical exfoliant than a chemical exfoliant, um, which I'm fine with. I'm all about that because sometimes I really do need that. I need something that's going to cut through the grease, the grime and everything. But as a mask, I did, I just don't, I didn't see the need for so much soybean oil, um, and a lot of pore clogging ingredients that kind of just made me a little bit iffy. Um, this is the Exfolicate Cleanser. This smells like, f um, someone said it smelled like fruity pebbles. I think it smells, it smells like a lemon lime Smirnoff ice. And if you know, you know. But it, it just has like a very alcoholy smell to it as well as very fruity smell to it. Um, I like it. I like the texture. I think the texture is really nice. I'll actually show you guys. Um, the texture on my hand real quick. It has these little like almost faux faux beads in it which you can sort of feel but not really like it's it's not like an actual physical exfoliant it's very very white like they just squish kind of and that's it they're not an actual bead it's 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 not like that so I like that because I don't want to put a physical exfoliant on my skin every single day like that. It's just a bit unnecessary. Um, but mm, I don't think my skin loved this all the way. It just, it, it didn't love this. And that's why it's something that I just wouldn't recommend for daily. Um, 
I think it's nice. I, I saw a difference using them in conjunction. Definitely my skin felt nice and refined and the texture was improving. Hyperpigmentation was improving. Um, but I do think that it just isn't perfect for oily skin because it does have stearic acid in it. It's supposed to protect your skin from water loss, but it can also be very pore clogging and just not very oily skin friendly. Um, so it can trigger your acne if you have fungal acne. It can also clog your pores. Um, but this does have a good amount of like, lactic and glycolic acid. So if that's good for your skin, you can go with it. Um, it's just something that I would limit the use. I did notice from a lot of the reviews, some people, not a lot, a lot of the negative reviews, because I go straight to the negative ones and then I work my way up. Um, they were just saying that I did end up breaking them out. So I would do a patch test um, before purchasing this just because it is a $38 cleanser. If you're going to spend $40 on a cleanser, test it beforehand just because you don't want to start using something and although it make your skin might look better it eventually might break you out or clog some pores or cause breakouts that you think you know might not be this might think it's your period and it's not so that's one thing that just makes me a little bit iffy about prolonged use and just using this as your daily cleanser over time i believe it, it, it could clog your pores just a little bit depending on your skin type so i did want to put that out there um but here is my favorite thing from Exfolia K. I, I do have a love. I have an absolute love. And this one was tricky. This is why this review took a little bit of time. This, no, I, I just couldn't get the straight facts on it. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I don't know the lines of communication. I don't know what between reading the back of the bottle and going on the website. I just couldn't figure out how often I was supposed to use this. Yeah, it says follow with your usual nightly routine. And it, it'll say like nightly, but I'm like how... How often is nightly? You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just like I've asked someone and they're like, oh yeah, like twice a week, like as a treatment. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. Like cool. Um, so I was only using it twice a week, but now that I'm using it as my nightly toner, which I saw on um, their Instagram, which is super duper helpful, completely changed my skin. This, this is baby. I have to be honest. This is baby if you have pores that you don't want to see no more. This is baby if you have oily skin or if you just want refined texture. It's it's quite lovely. It's 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 that girl. It really is that girl and it's so simple. It's really really simple. I love the blend that they have going on here. They call it a triple acid blend, but there is there is another acid in there that's actually quite helpful as well. So you have your glycolic acid, you have your malic acid, you have your lactic acid, all AHAs, but then you also have a tart tartaric acid. This is derived from grapes. It's going to exfoliate your skin, but it also stimulates collagen, which all know we love. You need that collagen. You want that collagen. Stimulate it. Stimulate me. So the malic acid is also going to exfoliate. It naturally occurs in the human body as well in plants. So it is derived from unripe fruit. And the one thing about this that I noticed that other people noticed as well is it can leave a sticky residue. Um, sometimes I use it with a cotton around. Sometimes I just pat it on my face as is. Um, it doesn't bother me because the moisturizer that I use kind of eliminates that. Um, still on my hand. But I, I get it. I get it. But it's also like that doesn't bother me I don't, I don't know like sticky feelings like I don't know I it, it would really have to be quite sticky for me to really be bothered because the results are actually overnight like actually overnight after you first use this you wake up in the morning um and even me right now I have a lot of breakouts like the only parts of my skin that I can really like see like oh this is how well my skin is doing is like really like right here right here just like very small patches of my skin and they look the next day like truly truly shrinks your pores up just just tightens your skin in the most beautiful way i love using this and then like the next day i'll use my vitamin c and like the glow is really it's quite unreal i i, I really like it um i do have oily skin so i can use this pretty much every night i do use it about five nights a week i do like to switch it up not 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 too too much not seven days a week but yeah five days a week definitely i've been using this for quite a while so and I still have about half the bottle left uh, it is a pretty expensive treatment I'm not gonna lie you get four fluid ounces um, and you don't need much you really don't need much um, as far as cotton or no cotton I really don't have a preference I think you're gonna love it either way um, if you have a pore problem 
really truly try this this is for you if you're looking for like a deep exfoliation like something you can almost like feel if that makes sense this isn't it this isn't it this is this is for you to shrink your pores and tighten your skin that's what this is going to do for you it, it, it's a it's a beautiful toner if you look at it as a toner and not so much like a, an exfoliating treatment like you would like the exfoliate mask then you will be very very happy with your results i think sometimes it's just the wording and what 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 it is but this is definitely a toner that's what it is it's a beautiful toner um i definitely think this is something i'm going to keep in my collection just because the the results are there. The results are there every single time I use it, so what can I say? As far as everything else from the Exfoliate line, I still need to try their moisturizers, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, this is my top pick. Um, I would say the Exfoliate Mask if you just want to try it out. They have um, travel size. See if it works for your skin as well as this one. You're just going to have to try it before you buy it in my opinion. Um, just because some of the ingredients are a bit sketchy. Sometimes it really works well for other people and sometimes it just doesn't. If you don't know your skin too well just based off of ingredients. Then I would just take that time to, to test it out. Um, but this one is definitely Ivana approved. It's always going to be in my night routine. Um, for now, I'm just over the moon with it. I don't have pores. I don't need them. I don't see them. I hope this video found you in the best place possible. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a like. If you liked me, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more of me, you can always check me out on my Instagram, Yvonne Burke. Bye. My gross hand.